Thank you for watching this video. Today we will be doing technical analysis on the S&P 500 for the week ending Friday, November 5th, 2021. And for this analysis, we will be using StockCharts.com. That is the charting service that I use and pay for, and I will leave a link to their site in the description box below this video. My name is Rodney Constable. I have over 30 years of investing experience, including over 25 years of experience trading stocks and options. I am a former financial advisor, a former vice president of a major mutual fund company, and I am the developer and president of Simple Market Signals at SimpleMarketSignals.com. Simple Market Signals is a proprietary trend direction and risk management model. We will come back to this chart in just a couple of minutes, but I want to start off with a weekly candlestick chart of the S&P 500 so we can get a big picture view of what has happened for the week. And then we will look at the uh, shorter term charts. Also, I have a lot of charts to share with you this week, so uh, stay with me. This is probably going to be one of my longer videos that I've done in quite a while, but I would encourage you, if you want to get better at investing and trading, if you want to learn more about the markets, if you want to learn more about the capital markets and how to become a successful investor, I would encourage you to stay with this entire video. All right. So with that said, like I said, each candlestick on this chart does represent one week of trading. We have uh, some uh, moving averages here, uh, simple moving averages. The green one is the 10-week, orange one is the 20-week, and the blue one is the 40-week. And up in the upper right-hand corner, you can see where my cursor is circling. That is this week's trading. For the week, the S&P 500 was up exactly 2%. And we closed at 4697.53. This was another new all-time weekly closing high, as you can clearly see, on the S&P 500. And this week, we also had our first trading ever above 4700 on the S&P 500. So pretty spectacular week for the markets. The next chart that we're going to look at is a three-day, five-minute candlestick chart of the S&P 500. So on this chart, every candlestick does represent five minutes of trading. And I just kept it to the last three days so we could really see uh, what has happened here. Well, a couple of important points. Uh, it was today on Friday, the 5th of November, that we had our first trading above uh, 4,700. As you can see here, the, here's the 4,700 line. And uh, yesterday on Thursday the 4th, we didn't get above 4,700. But today, we gapped up at the open. And during the first five minutes of trading today, we had our first trading above 4,700. And then just a, uh, about a half an hour into today's trading, we hit what is right now the new all-time intraday high on the S&P 500 at 471850. And then you can see we kind of sold off uh, from there and uh, still finished positive for the day, up uh, 37 basis points on Friday the 5th here, but uh, did finish just slightly under the 4,700 level at uh, 4,697.53. So, um, you know, again, just a, a great day, great week. Even over the last three days, you can see the market has just continued to melt up. But uh, right now, 47.1850 is our new all-time intraday high right there. That happened about a half an hour into trading on uh, Friday the 5th. The next chart that we're going to look at is a three-month daily candlestick chart of the S&P 500. We have a couple of moving averages here. The green line is the 50-day uh, and the orange line is the 100-day. The blue line here, 4430, we're not going to spend too much time on here. If you want to know more about how important this 4430 level has been over the last few months, go back and watch my last five or six weeks of videos where I've done quite a bit of work on this uh, level. It's a super important level, so it's important for you to understand that. Uh, but just real quick here, we did have an inverted head and shoulders reversal pattern right here. Uh, again, I cover this more on the hourly charts over the last five or six weeks. But once we had this inverted head and shoulders pattern, and broke back above this 4430 level and back above the 50 day moving average you can see that the market has gone just you know basically straight up we've had just a couple of negative days over the last three weeks it's been just a fantastic run here and uh, here on Friday the 5th uh, as we know, you know, we've got a new all-time weekly closing high today, an all-time intraday high, which we just looked at, and of course, a new all-time daily closing high, 4697.53, all of this happening 
on Friday, November 5th. And guys, it wasn't just the S&P 500, okay? Let's go through uh, some more charts here real quick. Um, and again, this is where it's going to extend out, but I just want you to understand just how strong the overall market has been. Uh, the Dow, right? This is a one-year daily candlestick chart. So the next few charts are all going to be one-year daily candlestick charts. Green line is going to be the 50-day. The or, or the blue line, excuse me, is going to be the 200-day. And uh, again, these are one-year daily candlestick charts. So up in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the Dow, right, on Friday the 5th, finished at a new all-time high, closed at 36, 327.95. Hard to see, but it's right there. Uh, again, Dow closed at a new all-time high. The IWM, which is an ETF that tracks the Russell 2000, closed at a new all-time high today. And I do want to share this with you guys. This is super important. Look at this huge sideways base, okay? And I've been sharing this with my uh, with my subscribers. And to paraphrase the legendary Louise Yamada, the wider the base, the higher in space, okay? And so basically what that means, I mean, just look at how wide. This thing started clear back in February, right? So February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. We had this huge sideways basing pattern on these small caps. And just on Monday, right here, uh, this week, we broke out above the highs, right, where we'd kind of been bumping up against this during this whole basing pattern. And we broke out above that high, right, that we'd been, you know, we couldn't get above it. And just this week, one, two, three, four, five, right, we went right above this. And uh, we're now into all time highs again on Friday the 5th on the Russell 2000 small cap ETF, the IWM. And guys, this could be extremely bullish for the market. Because when you get these kind of a huge sideways bases like this, as Louise says, right, as she says, the bigger the base, the higher in space. But, you know, to paraphrase, right, the wider the base, the higher in space. In other words, the higher the market can go. And we've seen a similar pattern on, I didn't annotate this, but we, we've seen a very similar pattern on the MDY, the, the S&P 400 mid-cap ETF. This base didn't start till uh, the end of April, where the small caps started clear back in February. But you can see a very, very similar pattern where the uh, S&P 400 mid-cap ETF, the MDY, went sideways, again, broke out above that over the last couple of weeks, and again on Friday the 5th of November, new all-time high. Uh, daily high, of course, weekly high on the MDY. Uh, not a dissimilar thing on the triple Qs, guys. The NASDAQ 100 ETF closed at a new all-time daily and weekly closing high today. Now, what hasn't been working, however, is international. And we can see here that the EEM, the Emerging Markets uh, ETF, uh, that thing peaked back in February, and you can see it's been falling. Again, the blue line is the 200, the green line is the 50. So not only is the EEM, uh, it is slightly negative for the uh, year to date, by the way, but you can see here it has just been falling, 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 and uh, we closed uh, below right today. We're, we're you know below the 50, which of course is below the 200, and that is not good. Okay, when those two cross, by the way, the 50 crosses over the 200. That is known as a death cross, and uh, so just that's a technical term. In case you didn't know that, so uh, from a technical analysis standpoint, there's a little extra bonus for you. Um, and guys, even worse than that is the FXI. Right, the FXI has been falling since February. The FXI is even more negative year to date than the EEM. So, uh, you know, this kind of, and this is just some extra stuff for you guys, but, you know, uh, and I've got a video on this in my YouTube channel that you can go find. Uh, I produced it probably, I don't know, a couple years ago now, year and a half to two years ago now, but, uh, you know, I, it's titled Diversification or Dilution. And, you know, a lot of people think they have to own international uh, to be, you know, just, just because. Well, you know, the point of investing, in my opinion, is to make money, not just to be diversified, right? So the question becomes, and this is just a little extra philosophical thing, something for you to think about, but, you know, are you diversified or are you diluted, right? Uh, when things like, you know, when the S&P 500, the Dow, the IWM, right, the Russell 2000 mid caps, the triple Qs, when all of this is doing so well, I guess the question becomes, do we really have to have, and this is 
a philosophical question you'll have to answer for yourself, right? But I want to I want to give you some food for thought, right? Do we really have to be invested in things, you know, like the international markets that aren't doing well when they're not doing well? Or is there a better way to do things? Okay, so just food for thought there, guys. But uh, so uh, chew on that. Think about it. And uh, again, stay with the balance of this video because I still have a lot more to share with you. Now let me give you a few things to think about. The stock market and the economy are not the same thing. Please remember that. The stock market and the economy are not the same thing. We don't invest in the economy. You can't buy shares of the economy. You buy shares of publicly traded companies or indices like the S&P 500. Going forward, to have a chance of success as an investor, you will need to focus on stock market-driven data. Future investing success will require getting in sync and staying in sync with the stock market by using stock market-driven data. Let me repeat that. Future investing success will require getting in sync and staying in sync with the stock market by using stock market-driven data. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of approaching investing in this manner. If done properly, some of the benefits of investing in this way will be increased upside capture, decreased downside capture, improved risk return profile, and the ability to sidestep major market downturns. So think about this, guys. What if you could increase your upside, decrease your downside, improve your risk return profile, and have the ability to sidestep major market downturns. What could this do for you on a go-forward basis? What could this mean in your life if you were able to do these things? Let me ask you a few questions. Do you manage any of your own money, including in your 401k or your IRA? Have you ever found yourself out of sync with the market? underexposed when the market is rising or overexposed when the market is declining? If you answered yes to any of these questions, please pay close attention to the balance of this video because it could be worth a lot of money to you going forward. Do you have a stock market risk management and trend direction system in place? Do you know the various risk levels in the stock market on an ongoing basis? Do you know when it's safest to be in equities? Do you know when it's most dangerous to be in equities? Do you know the direction of the trend of the stock market? My system is Simple Market Signals. Simple Market Signals is market-based. There's no opinions, forecast, or guesswork in Simple Market Signals. It took me over 20 years to develop Simple Market Signals. I developed Simple Market Signals by reverse engineering the stock market. And I studied the stock market over numerous time frames, including numerous bull and bear markets. And what I found is that certain conditions exist during various market phases. And then I created simple, easy to understand signals around these different phases of the markets. And the thing is, guys, that most people don't know about or have access to the data necessary to do the research that I had to do to create this model. Simple Market Signals is a proprietary stock market risk management and trend direction model. And Simple Market Signals is perfect for financial professionals and individual investors. There's two major components to the proprietary model. There's a risk level signal and there's the general trend indicator. Let's start off with the risk signals. The risk signals are simply green, yellow, and red. The green signal has the lowest equity risk associated with it. And what you're going to find is that most all upward progress in the stock market will be made in a green signal environment. Said another way, it is hard to make money in equities unless the signal is green. The yellow signal means there's moderate equity risk. And sideways to slightly up or down price action is very common during a yellow signal environment. The red signal has the highest equity risk, and the worst sell-offs, including bear markets, will happen when the signal is red. 
A quick review of the risk signals. The green signal is the best risk reward ratio signal for equity investors. And what you're going to find is that most upward progress in the stock market will happen in a green signal environment, as we see here. The red signal is the worst risk reward ratio signal for equity investors. And what you're going to find is that the worst downturns, including the downturn in Q4 of 18 and the bear market in Q1 of 2020, plus the bear market from 2000 through 03 and the bear market of 07 through 09, all of those are going to take place in a red signal environment. Now let's put it all together and see how simple market signals could have helped you during the fastest bear market in history, which of course happened during Q1 of 2020. We had a strong stock market coming into 2020, so the risk signal was green coming into 2020 and remained green for the majority of January. We did have a yellow signal for about two weeks towards the latter part of January, first part of February. And then, of course, the risk signal went back to green. And then on February 19th, we hit what was at that time the all-time high on the S&P 500. Again, that's February 19th. And then things started to unravel from there. But think about this. Just a few days after the all-time high at that time in the S&P 500, on Monday, February 24th, the risk signal went yellow. And then on Tuesday, the 25th of February, the general trend indicator went negative. And that general trend indicator had been positive since October of 19, okay? So right there, just a few days after the all-time high in the S&P 500, the risk signals started to tell you that something was changing, that there was increasing risk in the stock market. And by Thursday, February 27th, the risk signal was red. And then, of course, the market sold off hard from there. So think about this, guys. I mean, you talk about stress testing my model. During the fastest bear market in history, just the, you know, that started just a few days after the all-time high at that time, the all-time high in the S&P 500, in one week, the risk signal went yellow, the trend indicator went negative, and then the risk signal went red all in the same calendar week, actually within four days, right? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So you talk about stress testing my model. Guys, I mean, this is the fastest bear market in history. And look at how simple market signals could have helped you during that time. With simple market signals, you will know what the risk level is and what the trend direction is in the overall U.S. stock market. And the proprietary model is based on S&P 500 data. The S&P 500 index really is the best proxy for the overall U.S. stock market. And it's the only index that has all of the data available that I need to run the model. And guys, it's not about beating the S&P 500. However, that is a possible outcome over time if the tools within the model are employed properly. It's about risk management and risk control. It's about controlling your risk exposure rather than letting the whims of the market dictate your future. The best fit for simple market signals is an investor or a financial professional with at least a six to eight week plus time frame that they're focusing on. If you're a shorter term trader or a day trader, simple market signals may help you a little bit, but the reality is that the best fit between simple market signals and a subscriber is somebody that has at least a six to eight week time frame or more that they're focusing on. These signals are delivered to subscribers in our weekly emailed newsletter. As part of the Simple Market Signals weekly newsletter, you will receive the proprietary risk level signal and charts on the overall U.S. stock market. You will also receive the general trend indicator signal and charts on the overall U.S. stock market. You will also receive a weekly recap of what happened in the U.S. stock market, including performance information and charts. And this is on multiple investments. So we cover small caps, mid caps, large caps. So you'll have a great idea of what's going on in the entire U.S. stock market across all capitalization. You will also receive technical analysis data and charts. So things that are interesting and educational that I think is important for you guys to know will be included in the newsletter on a weekly basis. You will also receive fundamental analysis data points on the S&P 500. So we look at potential earnings per share for the year, 
as well as the possible P.E. ratios and then price levels looking out to the end of this year, and then I generally go out to the end of the next year as well. So you'll have great fundamental analysis data to work with on the S&P 500 right at your fingertips every single week. You will also receive yield curve information and data points. So we look at the, the twos and the tens. So the two-year treasury note, the ten-year treasury note, and then the spread, the differential between the twos and the tens. This information, guys, very few people know about it. Very few people watch this. This is so important to really get your head wrapped around because it affects so many areas of the financial markets. And you will also receive the proprietary risk level signals on all 11 major sectors of the S&P 500. So not only do you get the risk level signal on the overall market, but we also give you the risk level signal on all 11 major sectors of the S&P 500. So you can see what the risk level is underneath the hood on all of the individual sectors. And you will also receive sector performance information on all 11 major sectors of the S&P 500 over multiple time frames. So guys, you're going to get all of this, right? And it's going to make you so much more knowledgeable about the financial markets. You're going to be able to have a conversation with virtually anybody about the stock market. And you're going to be able to really understand things at a level that very few people do. And guys, you're going to get all of this for just $19.95 per month. That's less than 67 cents per day. I want to set realistic expectations. The weekly emailed newsletter isn't fancy. It's effective. It's plain text, no color, other than the charts, of course, and no fluff. But it's chock full of extremely valuable information week after week. Now let me share with you what subscribers are saying about Simple Market Signals. First, we are going to hear from KT from Michigan. I have been trading for many years. I did not realize that I have been trading in a completely blind fashion. SMS has given me the direction, literally, I've been desperately needing. This service allows you to clearly see what the market is doing. If you are remotely serious about trading or investing, you must try this service. Again, that's from KT from Michigan. KT, thank you. I appreciate that feedback. Next, we're going to hear from Rich A. from Ohio. Hi, Rodney. I want to thank you for creating Simple Market Signals and making it available to the average investor like myself. I work hard for the money that I invest, and I want to try to get the best return for my investment. Like a lot of people, though, I just don't have the time to watch the markets closely, and I've been blindsided a few times in the past by market moves I didn't see coming. Needless to say, if I could have avoided those downturns, I would be much further ahead financially. This is where Simple Market Signals comes in. It takes complex market data and distills it down into an easy-to-use tool that anyone can use to see where the markets have been and are likely to go. It is sort of like a barometer that a weather forecaster uses, only easier to use. I like the fact that I get weekly updates from Simple Market Signals and also get updates anytime there are important changes in the markets. Your emails are succinct and to the point, and the signals are easy to understand. Depending on how much time I have, I can quickly scan the main points that Simple Market Signals gives me or do a deeper dive and read about the various market sectors and their performance outlook. Either way, I get the timely and important information I need. Thank you again for doing this and keep up the good work. Again, that's from Rich A. from Ohio. Rich, thank you so much for the feedback. I really appreciate that. Next, we're going to hear from SC from Florida. And SC writes, I manage my own money and I am not a professional, which could lead to a disastrous outcome as it has for many. Simple Market Signals is the equivalent of having a personal money manager that keeps you invested when it counts and alerts you to the potential dangers ahead. Now, I want to point out here, guys, I am, you know, I used to be a money manager. I sold my practice in 2016. So these, these are the exact words that uh, SC from Florida wrote to me. So I just printed it as is. But I want you to understand, I, do, I cannot give advice, uh, but this is the feedback that SC from Florida uh, gave me. So I appreciate this. Uh, so again, SC writes that, uh, you know, Simple Market Signals helps you, keep, helps you stay invested when it counts and alerts you to the potential dangers ahead. The service is extremely affordable and takes the uncertainty and fear out of being in control of your own investments. I have done very well using this system and consider myself lucky that Rodney's YouTube channel came into view one day. I highly recommend this to anyone who desires an easy system to produce positive returns in the markets. 
Again, that's from SC from Florida, sent from his iPad. And guys, I want to point out the reason I'm using just the first and last initials is for the security of my subscribers, okay? I have hedge fund managers, uh, very well off, multi, multi millionaire clients. Um, I have, you know, people that are high up in various areas of the government. Uh, I have uh, people from all walks of life. So just out of respect and security for my clients, uh, this is the way that I'm presenting the information, just with their first and last initials, as well as their state. Next, we're going to hear from F.S. from Massachusetts. Rodney is spot on in his reading of the markets. I was looking for a heads up to help me choose which side to use for vertical spreads. Again, that's from F.S. from uh, Mass. And thank you so much, F.S. I appreciate that. Next, we're going to hear from JV from New York. Now, I posed a few questions to my subscribers uh, a few weeks ago, and this is the feedback exactly that uh, JV from New York gave me with respect to the question. So I, uh, I produced it just as he wrote it. So the first question, what do you like best about simple market signals? What JV said was, one of the things I like best about simple market signals is that I have an easy to use tool at my disposal. I use the green, yellow, and red signals along with the general trend to help me determine how much equity risk exposure I want my investments to have in the market at any one time. I will either increase or decrease my equity exposure based on those metrics. The next question, what is important about simple market signals to you? JV writes, I am a conservative investor. My main goal is to preserve as much capital as possible during market downturns, yellow and red signals, and to optimize my returns during green light conditions. The next question, how has simple market signals helped you? JV writes, SMS helps me to determine whether to stay the course, increase equity exposure, or take defensive positions. For example, I will add additional funds to my equity investments during green conditions and move money to cash during red conditions. And the last question, how have you benefited from simple market signals? JV writes, one of the benefits of SMS is that it has reduced the stress from always looking at and analyzing market conditions and worrying about it on a daily basis. And again, this is from JV from New York. JV, thank you so much for the feedback. I really appreciate that. And please note, due to international compliance regulations, you must be at least 18 years old and a citizen of the United States of America who is currently living in the U.S. in order to subscribe to Simple Market Signals. And again, this is just due to international compliance regulations. A subscription to Simple Market Signals is just $19.95 per month. It's billed monthly on your credit card. There are no contracts. You can cancel any time. And your first two weeks are free. Sign up is quick and easy. Just go to simplemarketsignals.com. That's HTTPS colon two forward slashes simplemarketsignals.com. It'll take you about four or five minutes to subscribe. It's that easy. Once you reach the website, the first thing you will need to do is accept the cookies. Please notice that due to international compliance regulations, you must be at least 18 years old and a citizen of the United States of America who is currently living in the U.S. in order to use this website or our services. And that is just due to international compliance regulations. All right, so to get started, all you have to do is click this green button, and that will take you to the product page. And this explains, of course, uh, what you get with your subscription. And then just make sure that that says one, because if there's more than one in there, if you have a two or a three, you'll get multiple subscriptions to the service and you only need one. Click the sign up now button and that will take you to the checkout page. Once you're on the checkout page, fill in the necessary information, anything that is required, including the email address. Keep in mind that this is an email newsletter, so we will have to have your best email address on file. And make sure this box is checked because that's how your email address gets into the system. So if that is unchecked, your email won't get transferred into the Simple Market Signals system and you won't get your newsletters. So please make sure that box is checked. And then, of course, uh, just double check. Make sure that your monthly total is going to be nineteen ninety five a month. Remember that your first two weeks are free, so your first renewal date will be two weeks after your subscription date. Fill in your credit card information. You will need to accept the privacy policy and check that box that uh, says you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions. 
Click the sign up now button, and it's that easy, guys. It's probably going to take you maybe four or five minutes total to fill in everything and subscribe to Simple Market Signals. A few points to remember with respect to your subscription to Simple Market Signals. Remember that everything is tied to your email on file. Now, once you subscribe, you will get an immediate emailed confirmation of your subscription. You will also receive an automatic welcome letter, so that's automatically generated from our system. And whether you see that welcome letter or not, I would encourage you to double check your spam, junk, trash, and promotion folders, especially for the first several weeks of subscription, because once in a while, our emails get automatically routed into one of those different folders, depending on your email service provider, whether it's you know Gmail, Yahoo, whatever it may be. Uh, and I would get in the habit. I would encourage you to get in the habit of every week or two, you know, just go out real quick and double check these different folders, these spam, junk, trash, and promotion folders, because I can't even tell you how many times I've had people say, "Well, I didn't get the email," and then when I tell them to go out and check those various folders, oh, there it is. So uh, it's just, you know, the reality of, of uh, having an emailed service that once in a while, and it's going to vary from email service provider to email service provider, but once in a while, the uh, emails from us, depending on the subject line and other things, will get automatically routed into one of those different folders. Also, I would encourage you to whitelist all emails from Simple Market Signals. In other words, just, you know, make sure that your email service knows that you want all Simple Market Signals emails to go to your primary in basket. Also remember that newsletters go out on the weekend. Okay, they generally go out Saturday afternoons, but they could go out any time over the weekend depending on our production schedule. And the next new edition will be sent to you on the weekend following your subscription. So if you subscribe on a you know a, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it is, the next new edition is going to come out on that weekend following your subscription. But we will also send you the latest edition. So whatever the most recent edition of our newsletter was, we'll send you that latest edition as soon as we can, but we have to manually send that to you. Generally, you will receive that within 24 to 48 hours of your subscription. So again, if you don't see that first newsletter within 24 to 48 hours, go back and double check your spam, junk, trash, and promotion folders uh, to make sure that it's not hidden in there. Also, within that first 24 to 48 hours, we're going to send you uh, at least one or two emails with links to training videos that are for subscribers only. So please make sure that you're looking at all of this because it's extremely important for you to get the most out of your subscription, please watch those, uh, those videos that are part of the training material that we send you. Now let's recap what you will get with your Simple Market Signals subscription. With your subscription, you will receive the weekly emailed newsletter, which goes out on the weekends, that will include all of the content that we just talked about, plus you will receive midweek update emails when warranted. So if there's a major signal or trend direction change in the middle of the week, we're not going to wait until the weekend to get you that information. We're going to send a midweek update email to get you that information as soon as possible. So again, a subscription to Simple Market Signals is just $19.95 per month. That's less than $0.67 cents a day. It's billed monthly on your credit card. There are no contracts. You can cancel any time and your first two weeks are free. To get started, just go to https colon two forward slashes simplemarketsignals.com.